Madrid, uh, the beautiful capital of Spain, is unfortunately hosting an estimated number of over 3,500 homeless people, and more than half of them are routine rough sleepers. The recent snow and the low temperature put an incredible pressure on uh, the shoulders of this disadvantaged community. Just before the start of the daily curfew on uh, that bench right there, another John Doe ended his misery in cold and dark. Just meters away from a heated terrace where locals were enjoying a last drink. On a frozen bench, on an alley on which people were rushing back to their home. A half naked body of a man who lost the fight with the cold the hunger, the fight with an unfair life, was lying on this very bench last night. Quite fast, uh, two cars of the National Police, uh, Policia Nacional, and two ambulances arrive in this square. And for the next 45 minutes, the two policemen and the four medical personnel were too busy with the paperwork to realize that on that bench was a human body, half naked and frozen. None of them had any intention to cover the body, to give a last drop of dignity and respect. The two policemen uh, were guarding the bench with their mask under their chin, uh, smoking and making jokes. One of the paramedics pushed one of the legs uh, with his foot and the noise of the frozen body dropped on the stretcher still give me chills. Nobody from the terrace had the intention to lit up a candle for the poor soul, or at least to stop their drinking joy for a second. It was like our compassion and love and care were frozen by the cold night or erased by the COVID curfew. I know that the death of a rough sleeper last night was just uh, for Policia Nacional or the ambulance service, just another number added to a sad statistic. When uh, they saw that I was uh, filming, they were quite responsive and aggressive, trained to be assertive, but unfortunately, fortunately for me, with no clue about emotional intelligence. So I could keep the images recorded with my phone. I couldn't sleep uh, last night thinking that um, that number uh, in the last night's statistics was somebody's father, uh, somebody's son, somebody's lover or somebody's friend. I used to believe that the recent pandemic experience will change us, will make us different. Last night I realized that we didn't learn our lesson and once again in the middle of a frozen night in Madrid in front of a bench and a half-naked body, we, as humans, we failed another exam.